Birds and prey, man. Ah, man. Better than Suicide Squad. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. That shit, it, it just was, son. Like, it, it just was. So, you know, basically, starts off her breaking up with the Joker. It kind of shows the Joker throwing her out the motherfucking house. But it looked like some big swole nigga. It's just a glimpse. I'm like, y'all shouldn't have even showed that. Because, you know, the, they don't know who the joke is going to be next time. I don't, we ain't even going to get into that shit. Whatever the fuck. So, um, you know, basically, she done pissed a lot of motherfuckers off while she was with the Joker. And wasn't nobody fucking with her because she was with the Joker. Nigga, as soon as she fucking basically make a declaration that, you know, that shit over, everybody basically try and kill her. And then some cop trying to go after her because she blew some... She blew up a little chemical place where, where uh, the shit happened. And part of me thought that they was linking that to some murder because her fucking necklace was right there. But they was never really clear about some other murder that some other bitch did for some other shit that they'll talk about later. So it's like, what are y'all doing? So um, come to find out, you got some singer who works for the main bad guy that wants to fucking kill her, but also not really kill her whatever so um the singer lives next to some fucking pickpocket girl who got foster home issues or whatever the fuck upstairs so she saw her one time and was talking to her the bitch goes she just goes out and pickpockets a lot so then the cop that's after fucking harley quinn knows the little girl that pickpockets because she's always at the station for pickpocketing stupid shit so that's how they linking everybody together then uh they put a hit out on the girl because the little girl ends up fucking pickpocketing some fucking diamond from some family that everybody in that family got killed so that the nigga could take the fuck fucking diamond and find the offshore accounts with the diamond and fucking be super rich and shit and so the bad guy ends up having that junk don't really know how he finds it but he has it and he sends to he sends the nigga says and he sends harley quinn out to find after he catches harley quinn harley's like you know instead of killing me you know i I can help you get the diamond. And he's just like, all right, let her go. I'm like, what the fuck? So whatever, son. They fucking go to find the motherfucking little girl who pickpocketed shit, put 5000 on her. Harley finds the girl first or whatever. Dog, this shit got so fucking stupid. Nigga, Harley Quinn goes in the motherfucking police station with some non-lethal guns, basically super duper big paintball fucking guns. that, exp And she's taking these niggas out. These niggas is running from her in the station. They all got guns. Only one nigga pulled a gun out. Another nigga pulled out a fucking nice stick. He had time to pull out the nice stick, had the distance and all that, and pull out a gun. It's like, what in the fuck is y'all doing? Then you got like five cops running away from her down the hall. Like she just knows some fucking karate or some fighting shit. And she got them fucking non-lethal guns. And she's fucking them up. And they all got, I just didn't understand how only one nigga pulled a gun out. So then she go and she 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 find the girl cell. She gets gets the girl out. It's a bunch of niggas like in cells around her that hate her hate her for their own reasons. She fucks them all up. The girl runs. Then the girl runs into the uh the niggas goons who fucking uh cause he he told Harley Quinn to go find the diamond, but he also put five hundred thousand dollars out to make it competitive for her because he can kill her if she doesn't find it. Meaning that nigga, you should have just put the five hundred thousand dollars. But it's a, they need her alive in the movie. It's her movie, so I understand. But it's still fucking stupid. So um, whatever. They end up being with the girl. Uh, fucking p police. They they fucking all end up teaming up together, man. Fuck all the how they teamed up together. That shit retarded. The uh, the girl. Well, it was the girl who died in that fucking family death thing with the diamond. A little girl died, but when the nigga saw her body and she wasn't dead. He fucking sent her to his family to, to train her and just, you know, raise her. And then, you know, she went, she, it was her goal to like fucking kill everybody involved in this shit. I don't know if that necessarily means the nigga that took her because he was there. So whatever, they, they ain't really get down to the bottom of that. But she fucking is going around shooting niggas with arrows, but nobody know who she is and why people is dying with arrows and shit. The last nigga she had to shoot was Victor Saz. Saz met up with motherfucking, uh... The 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 dri the fucking singer bitch who ended up being the bad niggas driver, uh, and Harley Quinn, and the police officer was there because she got tipped off by the singer bitch or whatever, because you know they they wanted to save the little girl. Harley fucking Quinn 
you know, they're all fighting fucking, you know, Zaz, about to fight Zaz or whatever. And the fucking hunter bitch and comes shoot him with an arrow. She's the last nigga on the list. So she's about to step. Like, she's like, I did what I needed to do. I'm stepping. And it's like, uh, we got some reasons you shouldn't step. So then girl power, nigga. That's all this movie came after that. Once they fucking all decided to fight together, nigga, it was just girls versus boys. Huh? Like a fucking, fucking, what? Three, first, third, third grade party movie on recess or some shit like that nigga girls versus boys that's all it was but the girls was fucking the niggas up with some super duper girl power shit like it's like damn y'all couldn't put one girl with the bad guys but you know it's a uh oh it's probably a feminist movie i don't know man but uh yeah man so they beat the shit out of them harley quinn's running out this motherfucking uh they running out the little maze where they met and uh the cop is running straight 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 out the front Next thing you know, as soon as she get out, the bad nigga's right in front of her, shoot her in the stomach. How you don't see this nigga right in front of you pointing a gun? She's running straight, and this, this bullet came from straight. But you know, and then he just come out of nowhere and all. It's like, this, what the fuck is going on with this? Like I said, man, it's a lot of stupid shit that happened in this movie. I ain't understand that shit neither. So you know, then they take the girl, blah, 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 and they're, they're, his goons is cornering them in the fucking jump. And then uh, they drive off with the girl. And then Black Canary finally, you know, reveals her superpower, which is like, bitch, you had superpowers, you should have been did it. Where she screams real loud and it, like, it just it just hurts people. So whatever, you know, like like this, like the nigga in X Men, Masonic Waves or whatever the fuck. So um, Harley Quinn gets on some rollerblades, starts chasing them, blah blah. Then the Hunter bitch gets on the motorcycle and helps Harley Quinn get there. And then they get to the end where you know the girl is kidnapped and Harley Quinn's trying to get her back. And the dude, and then the little girl's like, I, I got your I got your ring, the klepto bitch, I got your ring. She lifts up MC finger of rings. Apparently the dude knew that it was a fucking grenade for some reason. And uh, cause I just thought it was like a fuck, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, son. Uh, it was a grenade. And the dude knew he had a grenade on him. So it's like, why not hold, why would you pull a grenade on a nigga holding you? Because I'm gonna continue to hold you and you gonna have to throw it because I don't know where you put it. You could have put that shit in my pocket and I don't know which pocket to look for. I don't even got no more time. This nigga just let go of the bitch. Harley Quinn did the hurricane run into this nigga, threw him over the bridge and he blew the fuck up. And that was that. So the action was there, all right? Nothing else was really there. The action, the fighting scenes was good. I don't know about anything else. I'm gonna get that motherfucker like a 6.679 out of 10. And that's, that's it. It's not a movie you want to rush to. You don't got to rush the theaters to see this motherfucker. It's like a, y'all see y'all see it's raining out there today? It's like a today type movie, but when it's clear on the fire stick, that's when you want to go check this joint out. You ain't really. The acting was good though. The, the Margot Robbie bitch, whatever, she good. And then the bad nigga, you know, he cool. The Zaz nigga, you know, I like the nigga from Gotham a little better than him. And I don't like that they killed the nigga. Like, damn, son, I thought he was like, you know, a, a, kid, a main bad character, not for just, you know, parts of one movie and shit, but whatever, dog. We gonna see what happens after they, after they, with the next DC movies, man.